All right, should I talk about? Of course. DJ Hamilton, DJ just got destroyed. What? The puppy was destroyed. What? Yeah. I, I saw him over there say the day that I was just like, oh, maybe he decided DJ Hamilton needed to be seaboy. No, his roof got destroyed. I'm going to thank anyone. I forgot to make the announcement. Well, I guess you just. Oh. DJ Hymax booth has been destroyed. It was devastating. That's okay. I put out some bids. I got a contractor on it. We're going to get a new one. Now, welcome to what do I call this show? Bottom class unbox? Hair co unbox? We're unboxing stuff because that's what you do on YouTube. And I got stuff to unbox because I got drunk and ordered stuff on Wish. And I got some stuff from Walmart. But I got drunk and got stuff from Wish. So, we're going to do this. I'm Justin. Diane. And welcome to Perco Unboxed. I'm going to turn this intro. Intro? Intro? Okay. It's time to unbox. And you know what? I'm going to start off with mostly because... Well, they're obviously easily sealed. I'm going to unbox this one. Here, I'll put this one right here. So, I got these. They're from the latest Scooby Doo movie called Scoob. And I pretty much just bought these because, I mean, the, the the latest movie Scoob, I'm not that thrilled. I, I feel like I feel like a lot of these Scooby Doo movies have kind of jumped the shark. But what got me interested is these action figures, and I'm hoping this is one of those they're actually in the movie, not a we made the action figure because it's Hanna Barbera and they have the part of the universe, but you're never gonna see them in the movie. So. I might actually watch the movie based on the action figure, not the preview, because that happens a lot, and then you're going to disappoint. But anyway, what first intrigued me is I was walking through Walmart, and I saw Captain Caveman, and that was definitely a favorite of my cartoons of the Hanna-Barbera show. I don't, I don't know what it is, but Captain Caveman just tickled my fancy. So I bought this, and I'm going to unbox this. Why? Because I'm probably going to buy something to keep in the box too. But I want to have a little spot somewhere where it's going to have all these characters together. But this Captain Caveman was my first intrigue, and then I will tell the story as we get to some of the others. Um, Scooby-Doo is one of those shows I enjoyed watching, but at the same time, I feel like after a while, like Scrappy Doo, and then some of the latest Scooby Doo movies, I just. Scooby Doo was better at a point. Dude, see, this is another thing that breaks my heart. Like, maybe. I love Scooby and Shaggy. I love Captain Caveman! Um, because. Well, they're great. Um, I feel like Freddy kind of ruined Scooby-Doo for me. Daphne was all right. Thelma? I don't know. Something about that cartoon nerd got my gears going. Got my motor running. Anyways, I'm going to start with unboxing this one. And Diane has another one to unbox. And I will get to... One of my complaints of this whole series here in a minute. So, first off, I'm going to say I love the fact that there's not a shit ton of extra packaging. 
As you can see, I got my Captain Caveman here. And granted, he's definitely not quite like the cartoon series, but I love the movie. Definitely got his essence. And basically, Homeboy is a superhero in the... What period would that be? The caveman period. How's that? And he's a ball of hair. He's cousin hip. It's great ancestor, and it comes with a giant wooden club. And I don't necessarily remember that he had a sidekick. I think he did. It's been a while since I've seen a Captain Caveman cartoon, because I feel like Captain Caveman was highly underappreciated and could have done more. But so this, this packet comes with Captain Ma Caveman. And classic Scooby Doo. As you can see here, let's move over. And now you got Scoob and Caveman. I don't know why Scooby Doo comes with Captain Caveman, but whatever. So that's what you got in that package. And this. This was the first enticement that got me uh, interested. Fan to you in your corner. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, mine is Shaggy and Dynamut. And obviously, Shaggy. Is a uh, partner with Scooby Doo, and Dino Mutt is Blue Falcon's sidekick. Uh, Shaggy's great. Dino Mutt is good enough. And man, what do you know about Dino Mutt and Shaggy? Did we poop? All right. <laughs> well, in that case, let's open that box. Okay. And be descriptive. How does that feel opening the box? Like I'm like opening opening up the whole new world. A whole new world. Like whoever the fuck popped out of this, which we know is Shaggy and the Dynamite. <laughs> True. It Not is exactly a mystery. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Uh, and if Toy Story is real, I am releasing these sons of bitches into the world. And ain't that what we need? World. Oh, yeah, you can say stuff about the thing. So, as you can see, Banama is essentially a robotic dog and a sidekick. Sidekick. Sidekick, sidekick of Blue Falcon, and um, I didn't watch much of the Blue Falcon cartoons, so Hanna Barbera liked dogs. <laughs> the end. It's not very opposing. His, his his limbs are a bit stiff. Oh, he is robotic. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, a boom boom? A baby? And Hello. as you can clearly see, there's Shaggy. Or she's painting my nails or head in. And they're paired together. Maybe the movie explains it. Maybe it's a marketing scheme. I don't know, but Shaggy's great. He smokes weed, and he has a lovely dog. And Shaggy and Scooby are the only thing that matters. And now I need a mystery machine, I think. Um, let's move on to the next one, because Shaggy's great, but it's about Scooby, and Dynamite is Dynamite. The end.
The person who played Shaggy in the live action movie was in Trouble City Time. That's true. Bam. Call, Call back. back. <laughs> Watch Best of the Bottom on this channel. <laughs> so now we have Blue Falcon and Muttley. Now, so I bloody love Muttley. I used to have a VHS as a kid of Dastardly Lee and Muttley, and they flew planes and Muttley was the cheerleader. He was just, he always had this face. He just, Muttley is amazing. And I will tell you more once this is all completely unboxed. But it was Muttley and Captain Caveman that made me interested in actually watching this film. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but. The fact that it might have Muttley and Captain Caveman. Nostalgia. I got a big nostalgia pop, pop from it. So we're going to start and open this and go through this whole box. All these clear box. And now they're going to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the Blue Falcon. Uh, he's a Blue Falcon. He's a superhero. And Dynamite is his sidekick. That's the information I know. I didn't Google or anything else. Um, he has a nifty cape. He's definitely kind of a Batman knockoff. As you can see by the way he looks. He has the, the little, what do you call it? Not pleats, but uh, he's got the pointy thing. So, Batman F, Blue Falcon. All I can think of is Harvey, Harvey Birdman and Hanna-Barbera. Who's also made by Hanna-Barbera. So... I feel like we could have benefited more from Harvey Birdman. But here's Blue Falcon. <laughs> the end. I like that a lot better. Now, we have Muttley. I have all the cartoon dogs that have ever existed. But. Butley. <laughs> Butley! <laughs> Muttley is yeah, an ass man, are you? <laughs> Muttley is just he's just the greatest. I just I don't know what it is about Muttley. Maybe it's just because I watched that VHS and his little snicker and the shenanigans. But Dastardly and Muttley is definitely worth a check. Also part of the Wacky Racers, which is also a classic. Um it's just, I mean, I still don't say, but it was Muttley and Captain Caveman that made me buy this entire series. And I'm going to have to buy at least Captain Caveman. Oh, I'm going to have to get all four of them in the box, too. So, Hannah Barbera, you win. You got my money. Because. You put Muttley, Captain Caveman, and Dick Dastardly in these action figures. I don't know if I've ever seen an action figure for these characters. And nostalgia wins. I feel like we're both in a team. We might be. <laughs> because. <laughs> <laughs> and my team's better. Okay. Okay. So. I got Super Scoop and Dick Dastardly. 
and big dastardly. I mean, Muttley's supposed to be his sidekick, but really Dick Dastardly is a sidekick to Muttley. <laughs> I just, I mean, I mean, Dastardly and Muttley is one of the greatest cartoons ever made. And I feel like it's highly underrated. And I feel like maybe this low-rated podcast slash YouTube channel maybe might give them some love. And hopefully, someday soon, Dastardly and Muttley will get their true place amongst cartoon legends. And I just, I mean, you know, bring Captain Caveman in. Let's, let's give him the true love that he deserves. Let's not just dick around and say, you know, I mean, Shaggy and Scooby are great, but Dastardly, Muttley, Captain Caveman is just, I mean, they chased a pigeon. During World War One, I. I mean, need I say more? Oh man, they should have the pigeon. Anyway, wacky racers, dastardly and Motley chasing the pigeon. Get the pigeon, and go. What do you know about any of these characters? Well, I knew that those two were homies. And Cyber Scoob, or Super Scoob, my bad. Absolutely diddly poop. But I yeah. assume that was Scooby in that leotard? Oh, it's not even a leotard. It's a. Uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, His dog vest. Superhero like. <laughs> yeah. Baby. Baby, why are you staring at me like this? All the cats came in in like a row, like in some kind of. I, I think this is part of the like ending of the world. These cats walk like ducklings. They just wander across the room, and you hear Sadie like a meow, and then you hear meow, 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 and they they walk along this household in a row like ducklings or quail. But I like ducklings better. Do I open these sons of bitches? Open those sons of bitches. Yeah! Oh, the forest opens. I could do. All right. That's because it's part of the box. Justin! It's been a revolt. Oh, you totally screwed that up. Yeah! Thank you. <laughs> Alright. We'll take out a. There was Super Scoop. I don't know if that appeared in any other cartoon. But, uh, there he is. And all its Ubacity. That is now worse. There he is. <laughs> I don't know. Scoobacity. Scoobacity. Me. Let's get him over. Sorry, I'm trying to be graceful about this. But you're right. You son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm sure that was great enough. <laughs> well, you know, it's not a podcast. It's a, it's a YouTube channel. It's the end of the world. And there's Dick Dastardly. Who also... Dick Dastardly and Muttley do not like to stand upright. They've been drinking a little too much. Much like some other people. <laughs> this is my blue pop and that's why he's right in <laughs> That's right, right in Dick Dastardly, like I said, sidekick to Muttley. Man, do you know anything about Dick Dastardly? Except for Muttley, no. But his name is Dick. Well, he must be dead. And I killed him both. But no. Unattractive to be. Dick Dastardly was assigned to getting that pigeon. 
and much chican chicaneries and shenanigans ensue. And Dastardly and Muttley is a lovely cartoon, like I said, one of my favorites. And he doesn't quite look the same as he did in the original cartoon because, you know, modernization. I think it was uh, all computer generated and more kind of 3D modeling. I like him better in 2D. Now, see, Muttley came out much better in kind of a 3D model. He still has, holds all his essence. Dick Dastardly still has the lovely mustache and the big chin and the purple trench coat, but too handsome. Yeah. He has too much. He has, his eyes are too soulful. He needs to be a little bit more like a dead fish. Yeah. I just, that's how I feel. So are you taking Dick? Dick Dastardly. I guess we have him. Wait. You have to choose one or the other because we're eventually going to fight for some reason. Wait, how many are the I have oh, three yeah, and you have three. Yeah, it took Scooby. So, yeah. That's the way we go together. And we're going to win. I got the two um, somewhat cool Scoobies. I mean, that well, one's not Scooby. Well, you have Scooby and Dynamite. But, you well, know. I got Captain Cam, but he's got a club. He came with a club. And then Dastardly and Muttley, they may not have caught the, catch that, caught, caught the pigeon, caught that pigeon, but they'll mess your ass up. Okay, see, this is what happens with what I have so far. Oh, this is the end of this? Okay, so this is a challenge time. I think my my Shaggy cancels your Scooby, and they just walk off. Yeah, they're just, like, just going to smoke weed eat Scooby snacks. They're done. They're done. So yeah. these guys leave. Boom. Now you have at least two villains and a hero versus All right. three heroes. You know what? I, I hate to say it, but Super Scooby is probably going to smoke weed with regular Scooby. You think? I mean, I kind of agree, but I also don't want to lose. Yeah. Either way, Dastardly will probably throw a, a blunt, and Super Scooby is going to be like, wow. Uh -oh. Or a, a Scooby, Scooby snack. is a Scooby no matter what kind of <laughs> outfit you put on him. <laughs> so now you got Dynamite and Blue Falcon. And Captain Caveman is a hero. Even though my Blue Falcon can't. But he knows Blue alive. Falcon is just a Batman ripoff. Well, I'm killing all y'all. Uh, if you were Birdman, Harvey Birdman, or Tony Law, maybe you have a chance. Because at the very least, you could sue us in civil court. So we win on default because I don't know anything to argue a case with those characters. But that is that was pretty going? much. You know Oh I'm sorry. If anybody can argue a case for these guys. Comments are below. But you I'm know, sorry. I I, I I understand that I do feel like Captain Caveman and would be would, dead somewhere. Would never team up with Dastardly and Muttley, but these are the three greatest that Hanna-Barbera Hanna created. You know, I would say Muttley number one, Captain Caveman number two, ooh. I guess Sh uh, Scooby, Shaggy, and Dastardly. And then- so he would have come with them, would he not? Captain Caveman, he's not a pothead, but I mean, honestly, I think Muttley might have joined them, to be honest. I think, honestly, it would probably come down to these two willing to fight. Him, because he has, he just, he's just a dick and he wants to fight. Captain Caveman, because he's righteous in the caveman era. And Muttley, he'll probably just sit here and smoke a blunt and laugh as the battle ensues. Okay, so he's not with him, but he's not with them? No. Molly just likes to laugh at people's failures. Okay. So and you know, is... I think that's why I relate with Motley. Because, you know. So then, am I still in the running to win at this point? Well, no, because Captain Caveman is still great. Out of those two. I mean, 
I know nothing about. Oh no. Harvey Birdman is turning out a lot of his brothers. I don't even. I don't have enough room to get them all in the shot. Oh, we got more than one camera, so. Oh yeah. I lost. Whatever but, fight we were fighting, <laughs> I lost. There's these characters, and I'm going to figure out where I'm going to display them. Now, we'll go to... I'll let you open these, because you don't know what's in there. I'm going to have you open that and the other one, and then I'll open the other two. Is this where you tell me we got sea monkeys? I don't know, but I ordered these two, and honestly, I'm not even 100% sure what I ordered is actually in there. <laughs> I just felt the package, and it feels like what I ordered, because it just seemed interesting, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> All right. I like drunk Justin. He's got the right vibes for him. <laughs> okay. So, I, I, I don't know if this, what would you call this? Um, a cat drinks out of a cup. I, I, it, it, it's a little pin. So, do, I can have that see, all the way. I was expecting a dolphin inside of a banana. But I guess I got a cat drinking, a cup. drinking out of a cup. I have no idea what to do with this. Here it is. It came from Wish. And this, I mean, it's lovely. But this is not even, a clu not even close to what I thought it was. All right, what's that? Yas Queen. Yas Queen. Just say it like that. Yas Queen. You said it more like a Nazi. Yas Queen. Yas Queen. Yas. 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 Well, that sounds like a porn. Uh, well, you have to wear it everywhere, sir. All right. I'll wear it to work. I'm almost like Puppet Kitty in the cup, but the... I'll wear both. Yeah. I'm on my lapel. That feels like something you intentionally ordered. You're just trying to be Puppet Kitty. I mean... Yeah. I, I'll show you the picture of what it was supposed to be, but... uh. Oh, yeah. Definitely put those in. Yeah, that's what I got. So, I don't know. Some pins. The end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, open this package. What package? This one. Because right. then I'm going to go to these other two here. Unicorn's farting coloring book. Well, I have to take a gander. Yeah, I have no idea what's in that. But I feel like we have something to do later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are sample pages. Do you want me to show the sample pages? No, show the real pages. Oh. I imagine... I didn't know they exploded. Probably. Here, would you like to go through? This is the corn. Has flipped the white part. I just show a couple. Oh. This one I feel like is some weird sexual situation. 
these unicorns have a cheerleader fetish, fetish and like to fart in each other's faces. Well, at least one likes to have their face farted in. I mean, he's very blissful. Yeah. I feel like it's very sexual. I don't know if it's sexual so much as just power. Yeah, well. Like, I'm going to go home and fart like a woman. Um, Hashtag fart like a woman. Well, that's oh, probably problematic. This unicorn is tooting his own horn. Both of them. <laughs> can I take that home and paint it so that I can put it on my wall? Oh, because I wanted to do some coloring. We'll do. We'll do some. <laughs> We'll do some coloring on the podcast or something. We'll make a thing of it. Oh, this one's weird. This one's a unicorn killing a bug with a fart. Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh my god, he is killing that pug. Somebody help. Where's the cop unicorn or the pug unicorn? Oh. (laughs) This unicorn likes farting on wood. You know what? <laughs> oh. Yoga farts. We've all been there. It happens. It's alright. Unicorn farting coloring book. So, yeah. I ordered that. Did yourself. You're watching this. Okay. It's poppin'. It's Parts to poppin'. That's what happens to us all. Um, let's go to this one, which clearly somebody had already opened. They weren't sure what this package was. I'm gonna guess it was one of my children, but we're gonna open them. That's the Funko Pop. And it's Vince McMahon Funko Pop. Yeah. Why did I order Vince, Vince McMahon Funko Pop? Booze, that's why. <laughs> I, I love I love you did though. I just I was drunk and decided I need a Vince McMahon, damn it! They should have made him to where he had like swingy arms, because that's how I just remember him walking down the thing when his arms were like just swinging. Yeah. No, he's got great. This, this should be a. I don't know, but yeah. It's Vince McMahon. And he's got a microphone. And he's a pop. And I ordered him because I was drunk. And I guess it was a good idea at the time. I think it was still a good idea. Get him. Play at it, get an Eric Bischoff, get him, get him. Oh, I should get an Eric Bischoff, actually. That's a great idea. Now I need to find Eric Bischoff. A pump, pump, but a, a pop. But I need, I need Eric Bischoff as the NWO Eric Bischoff. I feel like that's, that's the only way to do it. NWO. Are we building a team again? Well, if you want these pins on your team. Uh, but I don't know. Well, do you have any other things? I have one last thing. This is the most expensive of them, and I have no idea why I ordered this, other than I was drunk, and I guess it was a good idea at the time. So. There it is. And I hope what's actually in here is any of the order of which. <laughs> I kind of hope it's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> 44 bucks for a turd. Oh, it comes with. If it's mummified, it's worth it, right?
This is a thing asking me to give them positive feedback. Let's show us what we need to give them positive feedback for. Is it drugs? Is it, uh... <laughs> it's just a sheet of LSD. <laughs> 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 After the fucking Vince McMahon bed, I'd be like, oh my god, those things want that! Those things <laughs> Let's see if this is really what it is. For the back says it is. Oh my god. Congratulations. You have just received an authentic 2018 Topps WWE Legends autographed card featuring dun, dun, dun. Tatanka, that's right. Autographed card from Tatanka. Many of you have no idea who he is. <laughs> <laughs> but this is Titanka, who had an undefeated streak for quite a while. He was part of the WWE, was it, um, New Era, or wherever the hell they call it. But see, I love Titanka. See... When I was, I believe in the second or third grade, maybe first grade, Grandpa took me to a WWE house show. The first house show I ever been to. And Tatanka was going up against whatever the hell his name was. The vulture looking dude. But I can't. No, it wasn't Repo Man. No, it wasn't Repo Man. Repo Man was in the was in the on that card. But it wasn't Repo Man. It was Oh shit what I Let me Google him real quick. Oh, actually, maybe it wasn't. Was it Repo Man? Because Repo Man was a heel. What was his name? I hell, I give up. I don't want to waste all the time. But it was Tatanka versus either Repo Man or the other guy that looked like the Vulture. I can't think of his name right now. I don't know why, but it just flooded away from my mind. I remember, I was in the third row when he was sneaking up on Tatanka. And I remember yelling, screaming, Tatanka, look out. And he turned around, and I thought that was the most magical moment of my life. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure it was predetermined. But at the same time, I feel like I played a part. Oh and you know God. what? That's what wrestling's all about. It makes you feel like oh. you played a part. I can just see little baby Justin being like, Tatanka, look out! And then he turns around and just like... <laughs> and Tatanka won that match. Yes, this. So I mean, for most people, Tatanka is just a guy that was in WWE at some point and probably don't remember. But this holds a special place in my heart, and that's probably why I ordered it when I was drunk, even though this is forty-four bucks. 
and Roddy Roddy Piper's autograph is 14. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'll probably order the hot rod as well. Because. Roddy Roddy Piper. But Tatanka, I appreciate everything you've done for the wrestling entertainment industry. And you are great. I don't know if that matters to you. And that is what I have left of my unboxing. But uh, as you can see, it's got a lovely little thing. And i got to figure out where I'm going to put this thing. But at first I regretted buying it because it was 44 bucks. But at the same time, kind of uh, my inner child is smiling right now. So this has been Perico Unboxed. Bam. Good night. And once again, like, share, subscribe. Check out Best of the Bottom. And you will see some other videos coming from us very soon. Love you guys. Don't join the back. Tasted pretty good.